welcome to my channel NK Academy. Today our English class is going to be different. We are going to discuss something which I am sure you are very much interested in. So let's get started. Should I order latte or cappuccino? Or should I try this? How do we pronounce it? Macchiato? or macchiato. Mm, what is this? Is it mocha or mocha? I don't know. Mm, what is americano? Oh, I'm so confused. Do you also get confused with these words sometimes? I was. This is the biggest confusion which many of us face when we enter a coffee shop. I tell you about my experience way back in 2009. That was the first time I stepped into Starbucks in NY. I was completely overwhelmed. As per my general knowledge, I knew only two varieties. One, filter coffee and the second one, instant coffee. But there, my god, it was such a long list. Half of the words, half of the names of the coffee, I didn't even know how to pronounce. I was embarrassed and finally I decided not to order anything and walk out. Fortunately, my son who was parking his car entered the cafe and he sorted out the confusion. This is the situation which many of us face. So, so let's steer clear this confusion and learn what are different varieties of coffee and how to pronounce them. The first one, espresso. What is espresso? This is the basic form of coffee and is prepared by forcing under pressure steam through grounded coffee beans. The final product is a strong coffee decoction. This is used as a base for other coffee drinks. Since it is very strong, many people add lot of water to it and drink and that is called as Americano. Okay, so now we will talk about Americano. Because espresso coffee is very strong and some people do not like the taste when it is taken as it is without adding anything to it. They want something lighter. When we add large amount of hot water to espresso, we get Americano. Like if we take a cup of 100 ml and then you take one shot of espresso and one shot of espresso is approximately 30 to 35 ml. Like in 100 ml of cup, if you take 30 to 35 ml of espresso and fill the remaining cup with hot water, then it's Americano. Okay, it's light and it has two ingredients that is espresso and hot water. Flat white. This is with milk. If you take a shot of espresso and fill the cup with milk, that is 30 to 35 ml of espresso and the remaining cup is filled with milk, then it becomes flat white. You are adding more milk and it becomes light. It's not at all strong the next variety the spellings are too confusing you tend to pronounce it as macchiato but it's not macchiato it is macchiato so what's macchiato it's slightly different from flat white here in a 100 ml cup we take 30 to 35 ml of espresso and then add milk foam instead of milk we add milk foam and then it is macchiato so that's the difference between flat white and macchiato. Macchiato is with milk foam and flat white is with milk. When you are adding milk foam, it doesn't become very light. It's stronger than flat white and lighter than americano. Okay, let's quickly do a recap. The basic is espresso, which is the basic strong coffee decoction. When we add more water, it becomes Americano. Espresso is very strong, whereas Americano is diluted. I would like to drink Americano than espresso. 
instead of water if we add milk to espresso it becomes flat white and if we add milk foam to espresso then it becomes macchiato hmm now things are getting clear now you won't pronounce it as macchiato you are going to pronounce it as macchiato no more confusion next let's talk about cappuccino which is a favorite of many many people even i love it our cappuccino is made of three ingredients espresso milk and milk flat white and macchiato they are made of two ingredients but cappuccino is made of three ingredients and what are they espresso milk and milk foam in cappuccino you are adding equal quantity of espresso shot equal quantity of steam milk and equal quantity of foam next i'll tell you about latte which is exactly like cappuccino but there is a very slight difference here too there are three ingredients and what are those three ingredients espresso shot steam milk and foam then what's the difference it is more of milk and a tad bit of foam on the top now next is mocha mocha it's not mocha okay now not much difference mocha is same as cappuccino except that chocolate syrup is added to it so it's just like cappuccino what does it mean it has got espresso it has got milk and it has got milk foam but on the top of it generally the chocolate syrup is poured on it and it gives a wonderful taste to that it looks beautiful and it tastes amazing try it out now next comes frappuccino what's it frappuccino this is a trademarked brand of starbucks and what does it mean it means that it can be legally sold only by starbucks or by those who were permitted by starbucks to sell it's made by blending milk sugar flavored syrups along with ice and espresso toppings can be any fancy one whipped cream and chocolate syrup are the popular ones once you taste frappuccino and i tell you you are going to be in another world it's super 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 tasty now let's move on to a next variety of coffee and that's turkish coffee to prepare a proper turkish coffee you need finely ground coffee beans and a traditional turkish pot you heat the water and sugar until it boils and then put the ground coffee in it you can quickly reheat it to achieve the desired for froth it's unfiltered which means that the remnants of coffee powder also end up in the cup but people like it very much it's a different you know it's little offbeat kind of a coffee and people love it next variety is irish coffee it contains espresso whiskey and cream it's classed more of a cocktail than a coffee beverage it's drunk through the cream you know it tastes really good you sip it through the cream lot of cream and then you sip it so these are all some of the varieties of coffee i i'm sure now you can pronounce them and you can decide whether you want to have a strong coffee or you want to have a light coffee you want to have it with milk or you want to have it with milk foam or you want to have turkish coffee and you also know what is irish coffee and you now know the pronunciation so with this the video comes to an end and see you in the next video till then goodbye stay blessed stay happy if you like this video share with your friends so that they too can avoid embarrassment and pick up the coffee of their choice when they step into any coffee shop goodbye see you soon stay happy stay blessed